Today, we're going to remember and celebrate the life of the unforgettable Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll, by shining a spotlight on the man who stood by her through everything, Erwin Bach. Tina Turner's music career skyrocketed to fame in the 1960s with her first husband, Ike Turner. But truth be told, her personal life during that period was filled with hardship and heartache. Her own mother left her when she was just a child, and her relationship with Ike was a rough one. She once mentioned, the good did not balance the bad. But as they say, after the storm comes the calm. And for Tina, the calm came in the form of Erwin Bach. They started dating in 1986, and they were inseparable ever since, finally tying the knot in 2013. Tina Turner's life was marked by loss and hardship, including the death of her two sons, Ronnie and Craig. Her tour stylist, Wayne Lucas, once shared how she found the strength to sustain herself amid her health issues and personal tragedies. I don't know how she did it other than the love of Erwin Bach, because he really did love her, he stated, underscoring the critical role that Erwin played in Tina's life, offering love and support during her darkest hours. The loss of her sons struck Tina deeply. Her eldest son, Craig, born to her and saxophonist Raymond Hill, but later adopted by her ex-husband Ike Turner, died by suicide in 2018. Following his death, Tina scattered Craig's ashes off the coast of California. She shared on Twitter, he was 59 when he died so tragically, but he will always be my baby. Ronnie, her son with Ike, died from colon cancer in 2022. Grieving his loss, Tina shared on Instagram, Ronnie, you left the world far too early. In sorrow, I close my eyes and think of you, my beloved son. In her 2020 memoir, Happiness Becomes You, Tina opened up about her relationship with Erwin post-Ike. She wrote, I lived through a hellish marriage that almost destroyed me, but I went on. I know that my medical adventure is far from over, but I'm still here. We're still here, closer than we ever imagined. I can look back and understand why my karma was the way it was. Good came out of bad, joy came out of pain, and I've never been so completely happy as I am today. She further elaborated on her struggle with accepting love, admitting that it took her a while to truly believe in Erwin's love, especially given her past experiences. Erwin Bach is a mega successful music producer from Germany. Their paths crossed by pure chance, and from then on, their bond was unshakable. In her book, Happiness Becomes You, Tina speaks about this instant emotional connection they had, referring to it as her one true marriage. In a candid interview, Tina shared the moment she first met Erwin. As she was leaving the airport, a handsome young man stepped out from behind a column. Despite her initial surprise, there was an immediate spark, and she found herself drawn to his unusual good looks and captivating eyes. Tina confessed that her heart fluttered in a way that she'd never experienced before. In her words, oh my God, this is love at first sight. Erwin Bach wasn't just her husband, he was her lifesaver. Besides the heartache of losing her two sons, Tina faced a number of health challenges. She was diagnosed with hypertension in 1978, suffered a stroke, and battled intestinal cancer and total kidney failure in recent years. However, through it all, Bach was a constant pillar of support. In 2017, when Tina was in kidney failure, Bach went to great lengths to ensure her well-being and donated a kidney to her. This gesture not only saved her life, but also symbolized the depth of his love for her. Tina recalled her disbelief, saying, I didn't believe him. I had to lay there and think, someone's gonna give me his kidney. Maybe he does love me. Bach's love for Tina wasn't just apparent in his actions, but also in his words. He showed immense sensitivity towards her past, often finding it hard to confront the painful chapters of Tina's life. In fact, he never read Tina's book, admitting that it was difficult to process the hardships that a person he deeply loved had endured. He expressed his wish for Tina to finally be free of her haunting past, hoping their enduring relationship could replace her painful memories. He wished for a future where their love story became the most substantial chapter in Tina's life. Erwin's commitment to Tina was unwavering. He made two proposals when Tina turned 50, both times intended to demonstrate his dedication and love for her. Despite the humor he brought into the proposal, his intention was sincere. He wanted Tina to have a commitment from her partner. Erwin humorously recollects his proposal. Will you marry, really marry with me? It wasn't the most grammatically correct, but it was a heartwarming moment that showed his sincerity. 
He went down on his knees for the first time, prepared with a ring and a hope in his heart. Although Tina didn't respond immediately, he patiently waited for her acceptance. Tina's response to the proposals was one of disbelief. She found it hard to comprehend the reality of Irwin's commitment and wasn't ready to answer. But she didn't want to disrupt the harmony of their relationship and continued along, not wanting to give a negative response. This period of waiting, although long, did not affect their relationship. Instead, it gave Tina the time she needed to understand the depth of Irwin's feelings and his serious commitment to their relationship. On top of being her rock, Bach was also a big shot in the music industry, working with big names like Pink Floyd and Lenny Kravitz, and even held a top position at EMI Germany. While he might not be as famous as Tina, he sure made a name for himself. Tragically, Tina Turner passed away on May 24, 2023. With her two biological children having predeceased her, it's believed that Bach is the most likely inheritor of her fortune. Since Tina's passing, Bach hasn't made a public statement, but his past expressions of love for Tina spoke volumes. He beautifully summed up their relationship by saying, it's love. It's something we both have for each other. I always refer to it as an electrical charge. And let's not forget Oprah Winfrey's touching tribute to Tina Turner. She shared how Bach played a crucial role in Tina's life, teaching her how to truly live. Tina had once confided in Oprah that she felt ready and unafraid of her eventual departure from this earth, knowing that she'd lived a loving and fulfilling life. Tina and Irwin's story is not just a love story, but also a journey of resilience and unwavering commitment. They first met in 1985 and then tied the knot in 2013, after 27 years together. They've lived together in Switzerland since 1994, with Tina gaining her Swiss citizenship in 2013. Despite the numerous challenges that came their way, their love stood the test of time, providing a testament to their bond and mutual support. Their story truly embodies the phrase, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. We'd like to hear from you. What do you think about Erwin Bach's love for Tina? What are your thoughts on his commitment, his support during Tina's health challenges, and their unique bond? Do you think their story challenges the way we look at love and commitment in the face of adversity? We're really eager to hear from you. Now stay tuned to our channel for the latest buzz on your favorite celebrities. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our other videos for more exclusive insights, breaking news, and insider gossip about the celebrity world.